If you have an Nvidia graphics card then you will be able to display an overlay within your games that you can choose to display either the latency that you're currently getting, the FPS or basic information about how your graphics card is performance or advanced information. So this overlay really is handy and you can enable it through the GeForce experience. So you will need to have GeForce experience installed alongside of your Nvidia graphics card. So the first thing that you need to do is just go to your Windows desktop and within the bottom right hand corner in the system tray you will see the Nvidia icon. If you don't then click on the up arrow and then it should be there. You then need to right click on this icon and go to the Nvidia GeForce experience. If you haven't signed into the GeForce experience yet then you will need to sign in which will then unlock loads of different settings and you can also optimize your games within GeForce Experience. So I do definitely recommend that you use this. So now that you're on GeForce Experience, the next thing that we need to do is click onto this option here that says open in-game overlay. You will now see an overlay. This overlay has many different options that allows you to take screenshots in games, record your gameplay, do game filters and other things. But what we want to look at today is how you can do the in-game overlay for your FPS latency and also display other in-depth information about how your graphics card is performing. So we need to select the settings cog on the right hand side here and you then need to go down to the HUD layout. You will then see performance. You need to click on this and you now need to choose a position where you'd like to display the FPS counter. So I want to display it in the top right hand corner which means I need to click onto this square here. So in the top right hand corner now of my screen, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is actually a latency display up there at the moment. So we can now choose what we want to display. I'm just going to press escape on my keyboard so I can show you what the latency overlay looks like. So there we go, you can see it says the FPS and then the render latency. If I now go Alt and Z on my keyboard, this will then bring up the GeForce experience. I can then go back to the settings cog, HUD layout and then performance and if I then select FPS and then if I click on the cross you can see it's no longer there because there's currently nothing running that it can detect the FPS on because I'm on my Windows desktop. I will show you all this within it again in a minute. So I'm then going to go all and said again on my keyboard, go to the settings cog, go to the HUD layout and then we've then got basic which will bring up basic information about how your graphics card is performing. So again, we can then go back to all and said, and we can then go to the settings cog, and we can go back to HUD layout, performance, and then advanced. And you can now see this has brought up even more in-depth information. So you can see there, we would be able to see how much FPS we're getting in the game, render latency, how the CPU is performing, GPU, GPU clock, the memory clock, and also the GPU temperature. And then also you can see the power and the fan speeds. If you do want to hide the overlay, you can hold down Alt and R and it will hide it. And you can then bring it up again by holding down Alt and R. I'm now going to jump into a game so you can see how the Nvidia performance overlay shows and looks within a game. So as you can see, I'm currently in Planet Zoo. And first off, I have enabled the latency display overlay. And you can see up in the top right hand corner, it says I'm currently getting about 60 to 70 FPS. And you can then see it says the render latency. So again, if I now hold down Alt and Z, it then brings up the Chief Force overlay. If I then go to the settings cog and then go back to HUD layout and then go to performance, I can then select FPS and then press back and escape and it now only displays the FPS that I'm currently getting. And you can again see there, it's going between about 60 and 70. It's actually dropped a bit there. If you're wondering what graphics card I have, I've got a 1660 Super. So again, if I go Alt and Set, and then go back to the settings cog and then HUD layout, and then performance basic, it will now bring up a bit of basic information about what my graphics card is doing. So finally, we then have the advanced option. So I'm now going to go ahead and open that up. And there we go. That really does give you a lot of information about what my system is doing and how well it is currently performing. And I'm not really getting the best FPS within Planet Zoo. I must admit, I would like to get a bit more. 
But yeah, it then allows you to play around with the settings within your games so you can get a higher FPS. So you can find that real good sweet spot. So I hope this little video has helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.